Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about the No Prep Kings Rookie of the Year this season. Now, for the greatest directly to the photo owners, please subscribe and comment and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Kings race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, we have the Rookie of the Year. I believe last year it was John Odom. That year before it was Justin Swanstrom. And this year... It's definitely Nate Saylor. And we had a lot of rookies come in to the No Prep Kings Invitational this season. But Nate definitely took the crown. He won two Invitational events. I believe he has won one grade eight, if I'm not mistaken. So he has won three events total in the No Prep Kings Season 6 racing season. So hats off to him. He is running a Proline MH7 Hemi. I don't know who tunes his car. I'm not sure if he is the tuner or if a big name tuner is tuning it, but that car is fast and it's extremely consistent. Very few times we've seen this car out of shape or smoking the tires. It runs really good, especially when the air is good. And as I've just said, Nate came in from the future class Stepped into the Invitational and he has won two Invitational events and one Grade 8. And he is tied for number one with Kai Kelly right now. So that's huge. That is huge. On the first season that you run the main Invitational event, you are at number one. And Damon did it too. So I believe the Rookie of the Year is Nate, but Damon is close behind. Because Damon won one Invitational event and won Grade 8, if I'm not mistaken. So, I believe Nate still is a little bit faster than Damon, but it can go either way. You can have uh, many cars that are running similar, but it just comes down to one given day who is faster on that day. Because right now we have 20 cars probably that can win an Invitational or are capable of winning an Invitational event. That was not heard of in past seasons. So Nate definitely doing really good. And we still have three more MPK races. So he could actually win another one. But right now, the Rick of the Year award definitely goes to him. But Damon is really close behind. That's going to be uh, interesting to see how the three remaining MPK races for the championship actually shape out. And also, Nate is running on behalf of Team Fireball. So Team Kai Kelly got Damon and Team Fireball got Nate. So I believe those two teams, seeing the drivers that are running with them, are definitely in the big running or in the very likely running for the team championship. So let's see what happens. There's still a lot of racing left. This weekend's race is points and a half. Next week's race is points and a half. And then the last race is double points. So anything can happen.